Hey guys, welcome to DD's Tarot and today we are going to unbox the second edition of the Star Tarot. I have had my eyes on this one for some time and today we are going to see what it's like finally. So it's a nice big box. Dear, I always struggle with the plastic covering but yeah I've got it off now so there we go all right and here is the box and Here's the book. That looks a neat little book. Four color with the meanings of the cards. And yeah. Okay, a few spreads at the back. Tarot spreads, helpful hints, yes or no spread, the focus spread, destiny spread, the higher self, and lovely book, lovely four colored book. And these are the actual cards. Wow, just look at that. Just look at the edges, the gold shielded edges. And the cardstock is solid. Great cardstock. I love it. So here's the flip through, the fool. And can you see, is this better? I think this may be slightly better. Yeah, if I put it this way. The magician, this, all of this has a dark navy blue kind of tinge. I love it. The high priestess, the empress, wow. The colors are just amazing. The Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers. Wow, look at that. Just look at that. The Chariot. Oh, these have horses, a black and white and what lovely wings, what lovely, just like angel wings. So definitely loaded with meaning. Strength at number eight, the hermit at number nine, and the wheel of fortune at 10. Beautiful card, lovely, lovely colors. I love this. Justice at 11, and I love this card too and the hanged one oh wow oh wow sure loads and layers of meaning here death now that's a gentle one i would say temperance Quite beautiful, no? Wouldn't you say that? The devil. Oh, I like it. I like it. I love it. The tower. The star. Oof, just look at this beautiful, beautiful moon. And I just love the way here, the dogs, the crab, or the arches 
and the sun oh well judgment the world and with that we come to the end of the major arcana and that's the ace of wands interesting ones i haven't seen this kind before the two of wands nice nice fire three of wands aha uh -huh. four something of the right of weight here but I don't see the castle or the people to bears instead and a lot of flowers very floral very nice another different kind of five of ones it's quite nice a different idea again here I'm sure different six of ones too I think we'll have to look at the meanings must look at the book again and that's the seven of ones the eight very very nice nine and ten oh wow again you can read a lot into this and it also has a sort of uh, uh, a combination of the Rider Waite and the Marseille cards. And uh, maybe even the Celtic Cross and uh, the Tree of Life. Actually, you can read so much into this. The Prince of Wands. And... The Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the King. So these have a sort of fire-like glow with the yellows and reds. And the Ace of Cups, and we have the pinks here, the pink and blue. Blue for the water and for the emotions, I think. Two of Cups and the Three of Cups is quite nice. I like it. Four of Cups, very different. I think there's also something to do with the chakras. Chakra reading here, a bit of that maybe. Oh, five of Cups here. Okay. Looks like... Oh, there may be a little sadness, but different angles. And there's a rainbow at the back. Okay, and three cups here and five, two here. Six of cups. Another very different, very, very different from the usual rider weight. Seven of cups. That's the eight. Again, very different. And there is something happening with the rainbows in the suit of cups here. Not exactly uh, like the tarot at the end of the rainbow, or maybe it is, I'll have to compare and see. Nine of cups and the ten, yeah. Now the ten has this whole circle or the oval, uh, you know, instead of the usual rainbow. And that's the princess and the knight on a unicorn. That's interesting. Very, very interesting, I should say. Queen of Cups and a very handsome King of Cups. Yeah, lovely. So that's the Ace of pentacles and we have the yellows and greens here the dominant colors of course i said the blue is the blue tinge is common all across the deck the three of pentacles very different 
four, two very different, five, okay, there's someone sitting with a wolf looking into the distance, um, white mountains and a little bit of white here uh, at the edges which I think suggests coldness and poverty and that's the six and seven these are traditional eight also has a wheel of fortune like look uh, nine is a lot of abundance and I love this ten of pentacles it is so 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 vibrant absolutely love it princess of pentacles that's nice very nice these have uh, some animal figures you know most of these cards some mythical figures too i think knight of pentacles queen of pentacles okay lot of vibrant colors here uh, the traditional imagery is all there uh, great abundance in the king of pentacles as well so lovely lovely deck and we come to the swords the ace here and okay that's interesting two different kinds with the moon here and reflected as in the tarot of oppositions and a very pretty three of swords though i think the message is the same as the rider weight four also traditional five yeah these are more traditional i think the swords are six is slightly different quite different i think these are what fish and there is a figure there is a figure in the boat that the figure is dreaming okay seven of swords again very different although i think the meaning is the same eight of swords all right nine quite traditional and with ten oh you know where this comes from wow the prince of swords the knight of swords the queen of swords and the king of swords blue and white dominant colors in this pile in this suit and of course i have just showed you what the rest of them look like so a beautiful beautiful deck i'll be coming back again very soon with something else Maybe another unboxing soon. So keep an eye out, people, and catch you very, very soon. This is all from DD Starro. Bye.